dessert is not just about you know cake and ice cream for me. It's really about the art as well. When we plate it, when we present it to the guests, it feeds the eyes first. Hi, I'm Janice Wong from Janice Wong Singapore and 2AM Dessert Bar. I'm a chef artist and born and raised in Singapore. Soon after university, I decided to go to Melbourne and uh, do an exchange there. And that really changed my life. Going to the farms there, I picked out you know, fresh strawberries. I tasted more than just sweetness or sourness. What I tasted was earthiness. More than just the five tastes and the five senses. And that really blew my mind and it gave me great inspiration to change my career path. What I decided to do was finish my degree, go straight to Paris to study in Cordon Bleu and I did a pastry degree there. After which I did a lot of internships all around the world and I worked through restaurants for at least about two years. Coming back to Singapore at the age of 24, what I did was I found this spot here in Holland Village. It's a beautiful spot on level two and uh, decided to call it home. And this is the birth of 2AM Dessert Bar in 2007. So one of our signature desserts is the chocolate water dessert. It's made with 50% of uh, chocolate and 50% of uh, water. We have the dark chocolate soil, which is actually like a chocolate cookie crumble. And we put the sugar on the outside that's the uh, caramel. So right now, I'm just putting on a um, yuzu sorbet. I guess when I was younger, I never knew I wanted to do pastry. I've always you know, started out uh, wanting to do finance, uh, follow my father's footsteps. Never thought I would come into the F&B industry because I knew nothing of it. All I did was I had the passion for it and so decided, you know what, let me give this a shot. So the first three months, we were so packed. We were so packed that people were sharing seats. But of course, the real test comes six months after and a year after. But you know, we continue to reinvent ourselves. Our focus has always been on taste and flavor. I think that's our magic here. I didn't want to open a second outlet too quickly because I knew that I needed a lot more time to do research and development and to build the foundation so that eight years after, when we finally opened a new outlet in Tokyo, we were ready. We were ready to be able to do 50 new dishes. And now in Macau, we have 190 items on the menu. This is a fig uh, dessert, fig mousse with grapes. And we've got this beautiful cacao pot. We use uh, fresh figs. We put the cotton candy on top of it. And then we put a generous portion of the cacao powder. And then we have a really nice uh, tea liqueur that goes together with the dish. Our service will actually do a theatrical kind of movement uh, in front of the guest. So we have this really beautiful fig compote. Let's go and cut it open with a rose and chocolate mousse over there. Being a female chef in a very male-dominated industry, um, it never really stopped me from still achieving what I want to achieve and actually it made me even more focused. That's the beauty of it uh, when you're outnumbered. Being a chef, it really demands a lot of the physical body. I mean, you're looking at standing for long hours in the day in the kitchens. You're looking at also giving up hours, uh, spending time with family, but th that's the reality of it. For some women in the industry, they have uh, given up their jobs to bear kids. And I think uh, that's, that's what it is, it's life. But um, it has inspired a lot more women. And in this generation, more women are coming out to multitask, um, juggling family, as well as work. This is the Cassis Plum Dessert. This is a plum liqueur gel. I'm gonna put a rainfall of uh, strawberry, uh, raspberry, freeze-dried. The actual ball is made of black currant water. And uh, here we have also the Rice Krispies, coated in raspberry. And we have yogurt and elderflower foam. And we have another layer of uh, plum liquor jelly. And lastly, we have the red rubies. We make it in tapioca and water chestnut, but with citrus. And then after that, you cut into it, and it's a discovery of flavors. 
When I was young, you know, I, I dared to dream. Pursue your dream with no regrets. I knew that if I failed, I would pick myself up, but I never really set myself out to fail. Although I enjoy failure because it's what makes your successes sweeter, persistence is key. I mean, this is just an amazing journey that we want to continue, give you one of the best sweet experiences you've ever had.